Las Casino with the Montana Petroleum Association. It is now after 9 p.m. I am here with Miss Montana USA, Tani Peppinger. Uh, we have spent the day in the oil field, but Tani, why don't you tell the folks at home a little bit about our day? Okay, that sounds great. Um, today has been just a, a, an incredible experience. Um, you know, not many people get to do what I just did today. I was started off the day learning about the production end of things. It was kind of like the last component of, you know, what happens at these well sites, you know, after we drill and, and you know, what, what we can get out of these oil wells. And so that was really interesting. That was hosted by Northern Oil Field Services. I went out with um, Pumper Brandon, and he was just extremely knowledgeable, very meticulous, very detailed, and, you know, safety was number one in, in, in his approach to everything. So he really took care of us ladies out there. Um, you know, it was just really interesting to, to learn more about, you know, these individuals and what they do and that they truly are experts in their fields and they're not just out there just running around just in pickup trucks and you know just recklessly running about the eastern side of this this great state of ours so I, it just was the first component of really putting the realistic touch into what is going on out here in the Bakken Next, we headed out to um, Bainville, Montana with Oasis Petroleum and thank you guys for hosting us out there and this was my favorite part. Um, we were able to actually go out to a drilling rig and the, the wonderful men of that crew took us up. Uh, we saw pipes being pulled in, pulled out. Um, we were actually able to climb up to the board. This is where they actually connect on to the next set of pipe to drill down another 94 feet into the ground. Um, that was unbelievable. That was, uh, it was intense. It was uh, just so, I, I don't know, energetic and like you felt like, like you were really doing something um, credible. You know, you were doing something substantial within the industry and all these components are substantial and they're important, but gosh, that was the biggest moving piece of all of this. And it really, um, it really connected all the dots from years and years of me um, meeting new people in the oil fields, um, you know, my best friend's husband works there, you know, just listening to these stories these guys always talk about, like what they're doing and, well, you know, what their jobs are, like rustabouts and roughnecks and, you know, all these strange terms that we're, we all just kind of nod our heads and carry on with the conversation. But to actually go there, witness what's going on, connect all the dots in my little brain, um, connect years worth of storytelling from um, oil rig hands and, and my fellow buddies that, that are out here making a living for themselves and trying to change their future with such a profitable industry. That wasn't just, I, I can't even describe how how much today really impacted me and just, um, you know, my life and understanding these people on a whole new level. Um, now to go on to the last component of, you know, this wonderful industry, boy, petroleum is just diverse, it's dynamic. And so we set foot and we had a quick last minute opportunity to go to a fracking site um, out in Williston, North Dakota. So we crossed cross border lines here but um, it was it was a well worth it we were able to go and witness this site which you know has such a negative connotation about it and if anybody was promoting safety environmental efficiency um, protection and and heavy on regulations and the conduct the environmental consciousness of the these individuals all throughout this entire experience is substantial and it's very real and it is the it is the one distinction I believe that sets American oil and petroleum apart from other production uh, producing com our um, countries globally. Um, these guys were very adamant about if we are harming, um, you know, harming the this earth, this planet, doing a bad thing, we won't be here doing this. These guys know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. It's chemistry. It's science. It's physics all wrapped into one it's just petroleum engineering at its finest and being able to witness this get you know these guys were all so gracious and just breaking things down explaining to me what they've done you know they do it on a daily basis so why you know to explain it to somebody is probably 
you know, not, not a normal thing, not a normal activity for them. But they took the time. They toured um, both Jessica and I all the way around every detail of our, all, every facility and just gave us such a quick and immensely educational overview of what produces crude in America. And needless to say, I'm exhausted. I look exhausted. I'm physically exhausted, but I'm probably more emotionally and mentally exhausted but blissfully so. Like, I'm so happy to be sitting where I'm at now. It was an incredible day, starting bright and early at 6 a.m., and now we finally hit home at 9.30 p.m. We didn't stop for a second. So, again, I want to thank the Montana Petroleum Association for hosting me, um, for sponsoring this trip, and oh my goodness, what a life-changing experience. Um, thank you to the Northern um, Oil Field Services, as well as Oasis Petroleum, for so kindly and graciously taking care of me, taking care of Jessica and hosting us and really allowing us to see things that aren't seen often by the average um, citizen in America. Um, and I, I, I would have to say that I am beyond grateful to now have such a, a solid educational foundation in petroleum in America. So thank you guys. Absolutely. Well, Tanya, I have just one question for you. I appreciate you explaining the day, and boy, were there a lot of moving parts. You oh, yes. were not kidding there. <laughs> but, um, you know, it is very unusual, as you can tell by the reception that you received, for a beauty queen, someone of your stature, to actually be out on the well locations, on the drilling rigs, mm -hmm. especially climbing yes. up the derricks, uh, as you did tonight um, on the rig. What would you say was your reason for coming out here? Um, what was your motivation? What did you hope to gain from you know, taking a closer look? Yeah, absolutely. So what I hoped to gain was just a, a first-hand account. I wanted to educate myself because I believe that education is a responsibility. I believe that my opinions hold me accountable. Um, and I believe that everyone's opinions hold them accountable. And with that being said, I wanted to come out and connect all the pieces, like I said, from years of list storytelling from different people in my life, um, the guys that I used to go to high school with, things like that, you know, the storytelling and, and you know, all of this information, whether it be, you know, factual information information or misinformation given by media, uh, different activist groups, etc. You know, I wanted my own opinion and it, it was a pleasant surprise and needless to say the education that I have from this point is it's pretty unwavering you know I saw firsthand what goes on out there I talked to the people I talked to these real-life individuals these educated hard-working and honorable people out here there's good people doing a good thing out here they're hard-working they're real people real life and they are supporting their families in a an amazing way and they have decided to sacrifice some component of their life to provide just lavishly for their family I mean it, you know they it's not glamorous by any means these guys work hard it's they work long hours and hours that are often anti unanticipated so I, I have just a great deal of respect for the men that I met today the women as well out here in the Bakken and I tell you what I tip my hat to you guys, I really do. So thank you again, and you know, I'm, I'm just awfully happy to have, like I said, my own set of knowledge, first-hand account, as to what goes on in an oil field. Thank you so much, Tani. It's thank been you. great having you. Awesome, thanks guys.